The research team at the Liggins Institute have been interested in caring for babies with low blood glucose for a long time. Low blood sugar levels are common in newborn babies and they, if they're bad enough, can actually cause brain damage. We know that some babies are at risk of having low blood sugars and generally the only effective approach is admission to an intensive care unit, putting up a drip, separating the baby from its family. It's expensive, it's unhappy for the baby and the family. We were keen to try and find a better, simpler way of treating this common problem. We found that you can put sugar in a very high concentration gel and what we do is rub that inside the baby's cheek. Got some yum-yums for you. That means it gets absorbed across the inside of the cheek, puts the blood sugar up very quickly. What we found in that study was that the babies who received the sugar gel were about half as likely to need some other kind of treatment for their low blood sugar levels. The exciting thing about the dextrose gel is that it is simple and safe and it works to improve baby's blood glucose levels. So we thought if it works well to treat babies with low blood sugar, could we use it to prevent babies getting low blood sugars? So the new study is called HPOD, Hypoglycemia Prevention with Oral Dextrose. We're looking at preventing hypoglycemia, low blood sugar levels, by giving the gel to babies early before they get low sugars. Oh. HPOD we're looking at about 2,200 babies. This is a very big study, it means we're going to need to do it in a number of hospitals around New Zealand and we need a lot of help to do that for a lot of babies. My name's Jenny Rogers, nice to meet you. Hi Jenny. If mothers are interested in taking part they need to sign the consent form and make sure that we know when the baby's born so that the baby can get the treatment at the right time. My midwife told me that because I have gestational diabetes, my baby will be at risk of low blood sugars, but I'm not sure why that's important. That's important because if a baby, a newborn baby, experiences a low blood sugar, it could actually affect their ongoing brain development. We're asking mothers to take part in the trial if they are likely to have a baby who is known to be at risk of having low blood sugars. That means mothers who have any kind of diabetes, mothers who are likely to have a baby who is either smaller or larger than average, or mothers who are likely to have a baby who is late preterm, so 35, 36 weeks gestation. If I do decide to take part, what will happen? We will check soon after baby's born as to whether baby is eligible or not to take part in the study. And at one hour of age, a gel will be rubbed inside the baby's inner cheek. Most babies will already be feeding at that point. It's not meant to interfere with feeding, it's just in addition to breastfeeding at that time. Because this is a randomised trial, the computer actually decides which gel your baby receives. It could either be a dextrose gel or it could be a placebo gel, which is a gel that does not contain sugar. Are there any risks to my baby? No, dextrose gel is already used to treat babies. It's already a proven safe treatment. Then after giving the gel, all other care for your baby will be exactly the same as it would be for any baby. After the birth, she was given a gel into her mouth. It's a little bit of a blur, but I do remember he was lying on my chest and they gave him some gel. They would just put a little bit on their, the gel on their finger and just rub it into his gums. Um, he was completely happy with it. It was a rather easy, non-complicated experience. We're hoping that what this trial will show us is that receiving a dose of dextrose gel soon after birth prevents low blood sugar levels. In the long term, we would hope that that would prevent brain damage, that that would improve the outcome for development and learning of these children. I'm glad we did it and my advice for any other mother would be to use HPOD. Um, yeah, it's been great for us. A lot of people probably wouldn't think that it's that important, but it could make a big, big difference. We're really lucky. Charlie is a little IVF baby and so we only have him thanks to the advantages of um, medicine and really what's been done through some of these studies. So anything that we can give back and help out with, 
definitely. At the moment, as many as a third of all babies are born at risk, but the number of women with diabetes and the number of women having preterm or large babies is growing steadily so that it's a large number of families who might benefit from this treatment. If this is a successful treatment, we expect that it would be used in most parts of the world. This treatment, we think, will really revolutionise the way babies are managed around the world, and that's millions of families who will be better off as a result of this treatment.